guys, welcome to Angel Whispers, Vanessa here speaking and today we have another reading and this is what is their karma for hurting you or for cursing you according to the angels because the angels told me that today is payback time um, about whatever curses and manipulations that others has put you through and anyway this is not only about curses but this is also about people who betrayed you who tell lies and rumors about you so anyway um what else angels so the angels told me that the good people are receiving their karma right now good karma guys don't worry for those people that have done their inner work that have been good um to, to all the years of disruptions they say and despite of whatever you're going through remember to remain um, a kind person and calm down the angels say you don't have to take revenge over those people who hurt you or betray you all you have to do is you know just do your work the angels say because the divine will be the one who will judge whatever this person deserve okay and let the divine do its will because the angels say if you are revengeful if you curse back the person who curse you it will come back to you eventually so make sure that you're not cursing make sure that you know you're somebody who is letting the divine do its work rather than you making the effort to be revengeful over others so remember that every negative things that you put out there it will come back to you guys so make sure that you learn how to handle your anger um, handle your anger by doing creative works or things that you love to do rather than destroying people's lives etc so anyway is there anything else so the angels told me what's important is to learning the lessons um, even though it hurts even though it's a hard way but you will realize guys that it is for the best it is for the benefit still of you and i feel here as well that you must thank the divine whenever you know you got up out of a toxic relationship or situations because to be honest with you you know it's really a blessing in disguise right and it's there's something to be grateful about each and every day the angels say so be patient with your life the angels say things will go well especially if you are not someone who curses or not someone who hurt others so make sure that the angels say keep calm be patient be kind no matter how many people are trying to bring you down manipulate you and so forth remain kind the angels say because it's very rare to find someone like you guys okay anyways or anything else okay rarity is unique <laughs> that's what they say and anyway the angels also told me with regards to twin flame love and journey the angels told me that union might happen especially if the person who ha um who betrayed in the connection the angels say if ever they awaken they will come back to you in the end anyway is there anything else and that's it they say so the black magic is over guys you can cleanse yourself from negativity by decluttering as well as bath with salt and water remove anything that's um someone who put what they call this who put spells on whatever material things that you have so make sure to get rid of those negativity in your household but if you can't get rid of it um using the item then cleanse that item with sage that's what i'm going to suggest so there won't be any negativity anymore in your room in your household whatever <laughs> anyways anything else so avoid blog posting so that people may not curse whatever you post okay so that's what you're being reminded always to do especially to the light workers out there be a good example to the people that's watching you in social media because the angels say you're here out out there to actually communicate to a lot of people and be an influence right that's why you're called an influencer right so anyway be a good influence to others and don't do harm don't do bad things don't lie the angels say anyway is there anything else 
Okay, anyway, with regards to Sushant's case, the angels say it's almost over. That's what they are trying to say. And they want to congratulate every single people who has been, um, what they call this, spreading the truth and fighting for Sushant to get justice, especially for Siddharth as well. They're really hoping for people to actually help Siddharth to, to get the justice because I feel like the family is not yet convinced that Siddharth was murdered. And they kind of believe that Siddharth um, died naturally. But um, to be honest with you, it's I feel like it's not really a natural death. And the intriguing part is that he died on where Sushant was killed by doctors. Remember that. Anyways, is there anything else? That's it, they say. So we got eight choices here. Number one is the Ace of Pentacles. Number two is the Temperance card. Number three, the Six of Cups. Number four, Three of Wands. Number five is the Fool. Number six is the Seven of Swords. Number seven is the Three of Cups. And number eight is the Hierophant. So choose wisely. Don't base it on your ego or else it may not resonate. Let the cards call on to you. But if no card is calling in, don't force yourself. Could be this time. It won't resonate yet. Could be the divine is still writing the karma that you're about the person that hurt you. Okay? Anyway, is there anything else? So if that's the okay case situation, nothing is set in stone yet. And that's the reason why you don't feel drawn to any pick up card readings about karma. Especially if the hurt is just new. Anyway, is there anything else? So the angels say most likely whatever they have done to you, they will experience it in a different situation or scenario. Um, is there anything else? That's it, they say. So just pause the video if you're not yet ready. And I'll proceed now with number one. Hi guys, for those who chose number one, which is the Ace of Pentacles card, here is your reading. So let's see, what is the karma of your person, number one? I feel like we're betraying you. That's what I feel like. Anyway, this is the overall theme of your reading. We got a TikTok. Is your way they tell? You also have mending. Is your way as well? They tell. And you also have the thinker card. Is your way? Now, let's check what else. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards so we may know what is the karma of the person of number one for hurting them. So I feel like your person is someone who's revengeful. Um, I feel like they curse you as well. And I feel like to keep you stuck. I think that they block your throat chakra as well. They try the, the best that they can to actually destroy your life. Um, anyway, let's check what else we have here. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards so we may know. What is the karma of the person number one for hurting them? So I feel like this person is regretting right now. On what they've done to you because I think that whatever that they put you through will come back to them a um, hundred times for the angels I wonder why 100 times um, is what they did is that terrible to be honest I feel like you're not even aware I feel like you're just here you're just wondering did they do something because I feel like anyway this is overall energy that's affecting the reading and what's the outcome I'm going to clarify the cards. The angels say the best way to communicate to them is rejection. That's what they say. Angels and guides. Because they will not listen to you no matter whatever you're saying. This could be a stubborn person. Like They believe that you're always right and you're not right. Angels and guides. Please provide guidance to the cards so we may know. What's behind the cards presented here? Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. Thank you. I also sense soap making. Some of you, you could be into a business that's about soap making. Or you could be good with 
arts. That's what I feel like. Don't just fish in soap making, guys. Could be I just sent someone that's making soaps here. Anyway, remember that um, take which resonates and leave what doesn't, right? Anyway, the angels say good news are coming in your way. If you are stuck for a long time, like your blessings are not coming in, this person is jealous of you because of you can act actually attract abundance and wealth and that's why they do what they did so remember as well be patient with your life if blessings are not yet coming in just continue your work because what you put out there will come back to you eventually so no matter how many times they block and block you the angels say remember that those blockages are already over like it's the solving the pieces the angels say you will I feel like you they will be regretful on doing these things to you because they will experience um what they have done to you, the angels told me. So anyway, this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. So I feel like you're somebody that's very popular and they're really intrigued by your presence. And I have a feeling here that this person could be somebody that's jealous of you. They they don't want you to be popular. They want you to have a lot of haters. So I think that this is a revengeful spirit. They could have um room I feel like spread rumors about you that's not even true and you have to defend yourself because of this person's lies etc so anyway that's the energy here so for the first card guys so i really feel like you know to be honest with you, you don't really deserve to have your blessings blocked because i think that you've gone through a lot and you keep on striving to push forward in your life and this person really is somebody that keeps you stuck right but you continuously have this good heart with this ace of cups and that's the reason why abundance naturally come into you and they're really jealous of it they don't know why you have abundance coming in like despite of them cursing you you're always feel lucky you're always happy and you keep on doing your work you know and they kind of curse you for that to be honest with you so they could be somebody who put ill wishings onto you guys and anyway it is because they don't want you to be attractive they don't want you to actually be popular they want you to give up on what you're doing but i don't really see guys that whatever that they did um really hold you back because i think that whatever you have going on is really a blessing from god and no matter how many times they wish and wish negatively about you do you think it will come true because i feel here guys that you don't really deserve to be mistreated like this you don't deserve to have your blessings blocked to be honest with you so whatever this is they are really liars and that's the reason why they're not successful this is a person that cursed their own life by cursing others and they created a lot of um, bad luck they planted those kind of seeds in their life and that's why um, bad karma or bad luck is always following them around to be honest and with this um, star card in reverse so if ever they ill wish that you will not be popular etc it will happen to them they will not be popular if ever they will they will be known as liars they will be known as a bad influencer or teacher even for some of you now that's the reason why they're not successful and that's the reason why they're envious of you because you have this ace of cups you're being loved by people around you and they are not instead of them being loved they're being mistreated by others and look at that i think that the karma that they had actually is they curse their life it just repeats you know if ever they have money coming in eventually it will be removed of their life because with the high priestess being here so i feel this is somebody who knows the right from wrong but they chose to do bad things i think that actually the universe is trying to align them in the right direction but they rather choose to actually discriminate you hurt you or do something nasty and that really created blockages with regards to their money so basically they are attacked in terms of money 
yeah financial struggle is what their karma is and obviously they won't be a boss okay if ever they are a boss or whatever i don't feel like they are respected guys i feel like they're losing their power because of the fact that they're being known as liars they're being known as a bad um backstabbers bad influence is what i feel like and look at that the page of cups is in reverse so no wonder why they're jealous of you because they're being hated instead of being appreciated right so i think they always have money issues and that's a reason also why people look lowly on to them by the society who really um, look highly on people that has title that has money i feel they will experience being humiliated being in poverty if they don't stop what they're doing because the angels say the more that they are cursing the more that they are putting negativity out there the more that their life may not accelerate because they will suffer for years because of the karma built up that you know they they have created and yeah that's the reason why they say they curse their own life right so this is the outcome so for an outcome wow this is you guys okay just i mean calm and be patient with your life look at that blessings are coming in your way so i feel like what is your karma they will have ten of ones a burden here so i think that they will give this burden to your person so they will stop hurting you so they will stop cursing you or blocking your blessings because they have to fo forcefully focus on this ten of ones that's their karma they can't manipulate you they can't control you that's also what they're saying um, because the angels say they need to remember that god is greater than them they say and i feel like yeah that most of them um i think that they use black magic or ill intentions to be honest so let's check with your stones what we have here one more data another so i feel like they are receiving the consequences of their actions by cursing so they put their status in social media about their problems in their life so you could be aware about that anyway you got this song so they could be sending you songs probably sad songs that's what i feel like and there's a message so you might know about the karma that they receive because someone might inform you about it so you got a star wow you could be a star guys and that's a reason why they're jealous of you and really manifesting your downfall that's what they're doing so and you're at peace right now i feel this is really your hater guys so some of you this could be your frenemy somebody who pretends to be your friend but they are actually your enemies so we got this heart and the key so i'm sensing here okay with the locked heart that we have here i'm sensing like you close the door already i think that you block this person because i think that you're aware of what they're doing to you so we got the five there's changes and let's see what else so we got money wow this is really great guys so if you're experiencing you know you're not abundant you're not yet there opportunities are black it's changing guys okay money is coming in your way because why uh, money is coming in your way because you remain loyal you remain happy you remain you know to be in your cool energy <laughs> with the with these cards here right you, you just stay cool and patience so i think that that's the reason why you're reaping the rewards because you have been working so hard and i feel like during this time the angels say you are charismatic you're gonna do a lot of work during this time and i feel like your inner work is already over or almost finished if ever you're still healing because you start to forgive others that hurt you that curse you because i feel like it puts you in a pedestal to be honest with you like you're sending out positivity instead of negativity which is really great so you have that wisdom so the karma for this person obviously they will have a lot of drama in their life and this experience says will push them to be wise because i think that they do have negativity everyone has really but i think that this is somebody 
I feel like they will get exposed as part of their karma, like people will notice their bad attitude. And I'm sensing here as well that because of their bad attitude, it leads them to drama, it leads them to pain, bad luck, and so forth. So I think that they're jealous of you because they are still in this drama phase, guys, and they haven't accelerated yet. And compared to you, you have gone through a lot which make you wiser. And I think that you came to their life as a light. Okay, as somebody whom is, what do you call this? Whom is, you know, um, trying to show what they should be because they are in the dark. Probably they are somebody who's not aware about their actions, okay? Um, anyway, they know what is right and wrong, but they keep on choosing doing bad, doing bad things. So anyway, this is your theme. So we got a thing going either way. It's because your person is kind of jealous of you, always thinking about you. But I don't really see that your energy is like this. I feel like this is somebody who's always in their head. They always wonder why you said you're like this and like that. Me, I didn't accelerate. Like they're playing always a victim here. So mending in either way. So they could be still mending about you. I feel like they can't accept that you have the abundance and they don't they don't they don't know why and this is somebody who hasn't mend their heart about you and i feel like you already bended because i think this person is very immature i think that the reason why you're being i'm sorry they are being reminded about you because they need to mature they need to grow up guys and i think that with this take I think that it may take some time. I feel like years to come before they they go mature. Around the angels say it's 50-50 that they will change, to be honest with you, because it's their choice whether or not to wake up and mature or not really mature at all. Just really sad, you know. And then with the ace of pentacles here. I think that, that is the reason why they're jealous of you. You have always abundance. You're wealthy. If ever it's not happening now, it will, okay? And I think this is also the perspective of others about you. Like, you're earning more than them. Like, you really intrigue people around you. I feel like you're good at hiding if ever you have money issues, guys. Um, because I feel like for some of you, you feel like it's really blocked. And the reason why you feel that way, because someone curse you, right? But the angels say, have patience, you know, money will flow in. Once that you're ready, they say. So anyway, this is your other cards. Um, their messages for you should be clarify. Okay, they asked me to clarify. One more for what, angels? Okay. They want me to use um some cards, so wait. So, I will just add up some cards, guys, since the angels requested, alright? Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards so we may know what are the messages of the person of number one for them. I only have few cards left <laughs> because some other cards are on the other files. And actually... I feel very sad here. Like, your person is jealous of you because they're not happy with your life. They're always getting betrayed by friends, by lovers. They don't know what to do with their life. And I feel like you're a light worker. You're trying to direct this person. But instead of listening to you, they listen to themselves. Anyway. I really feel a heavy karmic vibe in their energy and I feel so drained. Could be this is also how you feel like whenever this person is around you. Anyway, we will clarify. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards so we may know what's behind the cards presented here. This help us clarify so we may be able to understand. So the angels also told me that the curse is over. So if you're worried that there are still blockages, I don't feel so, guys. And I'm sensing here as well that God loves you a lot and God gives you gifts, unexpected miracles to come. The angels also told me that God has always been here for you. Every time people betray you, hurt you, curse you, whatever, 
God loves you. God will love you more. And He will send you more money, more income, more business ventures to come, guys. Okay? I feel so happy with your energy, to be honest. So, we got, I mean, an abusive partnership. So, anyway, this is one of their karma is that they will experience people that mirrors who they are because it will force them to change. They, they need to realize that whatever they attract is eventually their bad attitude. Okay? Um, that's... That's the thing here. And it's a tool for them to actually change. So I got betrayed. So that's one of their karma. If they betray you, they also got betrayed by karmic. So they could have thought that this person is their soulmate, whatever, not someone who's, um, what they call this, toxic. But I feel they fell in love with the wrong person. That's one of their karma. So anyway, the next some of you, this could be your twin flame. That's also what I sense. I wish I can turn back time. Some of them, they could have um, missed you, especially if you're close to them. I feel, they feel very nostalgic sometimes. Whenever they remember those memories, those conversations that you guys had. Because I feel like you could be somebody that on some point in your life, like you could resonate with them. But yet, I feel like since you accelerated on them in terms of spirituality, your vibe doesn't match anymore. So I think that you attract this person when, you know, both of you has the same vibe. But yet, I feel like now you're, you're a mature person now. And yeah, you left this person in terms of spirituality. So I, I wish you can forgive me. So I think, yeah, look at that with the 10 of 1s here. So they could be someone who created burdens in your life. I think that they're aware that um, they feel very guilty of actually cursing you for some of them, especially if you have memories with this person. Because I think that, you know, they're really aware that they're the one who put a lot of burdens in your life. And they could be wishing to... So, I can hardly express myself, so for, um, sorry about that. So, I think that for some of them, okay, they wish that you can forgive them because of the fact that some of you, if ever this is a lover, guys, they're still in love with you and they miss the conversations. And if you're not forgiving them, of course, you will not accept them back because some of you already blocked this person because they have this toxic energy. So the next is I feel depressed. So look at the difference of these cards because this is you. Like you're happy right now and look at where they at. I feel depressed. You're lonely. So that's their karma. And then the next you made me feel unwanted. I'm sorry, I made you feel unwanted. Sorry about that. So could be what happened here. Some of them, they could have leave, leave you behind, um, mistreated you, make you cry. Because I feel like you're a loyal person because we also have a dog here in your stones. So I'm feeling here that the karma that they will have eventually so they will have a partner that doesn't resonate with them like they will always argue um this person is also having those traits that they had and our friends left me so that's one of their karma because i think that um your friends the good friends okay they're aware that whomever this person was who hurt you is someone that is complicated someone who used you for money for some of you or use the connection in a bad way. I feel like they are really a bad influence in your life. They could have encouraged you to do bad things as well. That's also what I get. And people are leaving them, rejecting them. I shouldn't have left you for somebody. So some of them, they could have left you. Because I think that, oh dear, this is sad. I think that the one that they have chosen is not really their soulmate or not really their soul tribe. This is somebody that doesn't really resonate with them. I feel like this they're really jealous of you because I feel like you can live without a partner and they they can't do that. There's somebody who always have a partner. And the next is nobody wants to be with me. 
so it could be this is a person because with the full card being here there they are go-getters in terms of love so they could always be the chaser in the love department but i think that you know the people that they chose doesn't love them doesn't want to be with them so that's one of their karma because their vibe is really toxic my gosh i wasn't able to clarify this one so i'm just clarify that so because they're extremely toxic and that's the reason why every partner every people that they try to be with really doesn't like them and the tables have turned so if ever this person curse you this person say mean things about you you're being loved by people around you that's what's going on right now and this person look at that they are stuck in their own box because people are realizing the truth now because i think that if ever they speak mainly about you people that they talk to spy on your social media and is discovered that you're not a bad person you know you are a good person and that's the reason why i feel like no one trusted them and i think that this person is crying because to be honest with you they really experiencing betrayals right now they're experiencing people that's hating on them I feel like they post some sense in social media as well and that's the reason why people left them. I miss your love so if ever this person experienced your love guys, they really miss it. They feel nostalgic every time they remember you. They, they go back to the good times that you guys had. And they're thinking of having a partner like you are. No wonder why they are kind of like a go-getter in terms of love life. Because they could be trying to find a person just like who you are. They really miss you and that's why they keep on looking for another person that will replace you. But eventually they can find it. You shouldn't have trusted me. Some of you, this could be someone that you trusted, but yet this person can't be trusted. Really, because I think some of them, they could be Libras. That's also what I get here. So anyway, this person could be a gossiper. Like they are very deceitful and deceiving as well. And I'm sensing like they're not saying good things about you. They could have talked about your secrets guys and i feel like the karma that they will have is that you know they will feel guilty because you have a good heart to be honest with you and i'm sensing with the moon here so i think that their intuition is blocked as part of their karma so anyway look at that, that justice have been served it just means that the karma already struck this person guys i think that based on the karma here there's a lot to be honest with you um the main thing that i see is that it it was um about love life for some of you they got attracted to a wrong person that shows them their bad attitude and also um they could be trying to find a lot of you know options just to replace you just to find someone like you and if they didn't find the one they will again choose another person it's a never-ending cycle guys okay and with a burden here so they will have a lot of burdens in their life a lot of problems and a lot of arguments with others that's also what i get here anyways or anything else so the angels told me that yeah the suffering is over to be honest and if ever this is a liar guys i feel like they have a hard time to express themselves because honestly in your reading sometimes i mess up with whatever i i have to say i think that that is one of their karma like they're being forced on to spill the beans if ever they're hiding something um you know instead of them hiding it they accidentally say something that is not um what they want to say so yeah things are like that happening to their life and they're being followed by bad luck because this is a person that keeps on doing bad things and they chose not to grow up they chose to be in in the dark and you came to their life in in order for them to be aware that they need to change but since they are not changing the angels say they are being removed off your life the angels say and burdens are coming into them so they cannot disrupt your inner peace okay anyways or anything else that's it they say so anyway 
Congratulations according to the angels because blessings are coming in for you, number one. If you're not saying it now, trust the universe. It will be brought to you guys. Okay, anyways, or anything else? that's it they say so anyway thank you for watching guys i hope this reading may give you an insight and sending you peace love and light bye hi guys for those who chose number two which is the temperance card here is your reading so let's see what is the karma of your person for hurting you number two so this is the overall theme of this reading you got chaos and conflict either way they tell you also got round and round Either way, they say, and you also got the fates. So, anyway, let's check. One more for what angels. Okay, I'll just pull some cards for the theme. So, let's see. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards so we may know what is the overall theme for this reading. Thank you. I feel like this person boxed up you and curse you for some of you and i feel like you never post in social media about their evil deeds but they could be posting about you a lot to humiliate you to to curse you i feel like they're jealous of your success some of you number one might resonate but i feel like the story here is kind of different i feel like your person has childlike behavior like they are so immature I feel like people hate them because they're being dishonest and they got caught up with their lies. That's also what I get here. So anyway, let's check what else we have here. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards so we may know what is the karma of the person of number two for hurting them. I feel suddenly that my hair stands up. So I, I feel here that you're being protected from this person. You could be a light worker and they are not. They're fake light workers. That's what I feel like. They pretend to be like you, but they can't really copy your energy and even your work. So I feel like they're really afraid of the dark. That's also what I get. They're afraid to lose their influence over others because if that happens, they can't, um, should I get this? <laughs> okay, this is a lot. So anyway, the good news that's coming in for you is that this person is being blocked from cursing you. If ever they curse you, if ever they copy you, they can't copy you anymore. The divine is not permitting them to actually, um, you know, copy the whole you. Because that is not them, right? Anyway, let's check. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards. So we may know. What is the karma of the person of number two? For hurting them. So I feel really a heavy liar vibe in them. Anyway, this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading and what's the outcome. They could be very nose nosy. I feel like also noisy. And they're jealous of you, of your success. That's why they copied you. They copied your words. They copy you, whatever you, you have going on. I'm going to clarify angels and guides. Please provide guidance to the cards. So we may know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. Thank you. I have a feeling here that they are money hungry. They they want to be like you so they can have money that's what i feel like so they could be thinking like by being you they can have money but unfortunately it's not like that it will not work that way i feel like for some of them they could be praising evil entities rather than you know the right the right whatever you you know in the religious part so anyway 
It's a several energy that's affecting the reading. So whoever this person is, this is a backstabber. This is somebody that you can trust. Some of you, this could be a family member um, that tries to brainwash you to do another thing or to focus on other things aside from your work. Because I think they are jealous about you. They don't want you to accelerate. They're not really happy with their life or whatever they are. I feel like they are not um, somebody who accepts themselves. Like they copy other people's attitude because they don't like their own skin. They lack self-love. That's what I'm sensing here. And with this Ace of Wands in reverse, I'm sensing here as well that this is somebody that has creative blockage. That's what I feel like. They're forcing themselves to do something or to do a work that doesn't resonate with them. Okay, and that is not really where they should be. Because they are fake light workers, the angels say. Anyway, this is the next card. So yes, I think that what's going on with them, their blessings are blocked. And I feel like look at you, people look highly onto you. And they think that you're earning a lot of money by doing your work. But whatever that you're doing, it's not really divinely guided for them. They they need to choose another path, another direction, because they're jealous of you. They're they're stuck about the thoughts of you, and the main reason is because you are loved by people around you. You have a good life. You have a good partner, and with this one in being here, so this is a person that doesn't want to accelerate. I feel like they think that if ever they keep you stuck, you know they can have your position, and this is somebody really feel was energy here so we decide of pentacles this is somebody who don't have work okay and they could have seen whatever you're doing and they want to be like that because they want to be like you and they have I feel they have evil entity inside of them because they praise evil entities um, instead of the real divine okay Whatever you believe in. So anyway, the next thing that we have is this one. So you could be a truth speaker, guys. And this person really tries to copy you. Really tries to copy your content, whatever you do for work. Because they think they're really money hungry, okay? They really desperately want to be rich. That's their main purpose. They want to be like you to be rich. But look at this, okay? I feel like you're somebody who gone through a lot and been awakened properly. And well, this person is not. And that's the reason why they can't be um, what you're doing. Because first of all, they don't understand the main process of spirituality. They just go after whatever you're doing and that's it. And this is the outcome. So for an outcome here, so the karma that they will have is that they will lose influence because people will distinguish still whom is the fake and whom is not. Because I really see here that they're not earning from what they're doing because eventually that is not the right path for them. And remember that if you're not on the right path, whether it's career, um, love situation, etc., that's not meant to last forever. To be honest, like the divine will... Um, make you away from that work so they will lose their influence and they will be forced on to let it go but some of them this is sad that they might stay even though they're not earning much because i think that some of them they could be attention seekers and i have a hard time to express holding these cards could be they're losing their voice as well so one of the outcome is this one. So whatever that they wishing for, they will not receive it. Because I think that they could be praying to, to be better than you are, to be like you. But yet they are being forced on to let this go. Because honestly, what's going on here, they are attracting haters instead of, you know, loyal people that really, what they call this, look up highly to them. I feel like instead of people looking highly on them, they are hated for being copycats. They are... I feel like being discriminated to, being hated for their lies if ever they lied. I feel like this is a person that posts a lot and spreads rumors and lies about you as well. So people may leave you behind. But I don't really see that it's working. And um, what's going on here instead of, you know, your fans leaving you, it's their fans leaving them after discovering that they are fake. So anyway, let's check what else we have here.
Another. One more. Scandal like the angel say Bongbong Marcos and Lenny Robredo. <laughs> story okay so anyway this is a stone so for the stone as you can see here that this person want to be greater than you are and that's the reason why they did what they did i feel like they curse you they put black magic on you or do nasty things just to you know belittle you and own your radical disposition okay and i think that what they're after is just some money like they're so greedy you know that is the main purpose why if ever it's about um the president's position they just want to earn so anyway they're sad with their life because they're being hated by people to be honest and with this one i'm sincere as well that you're a real light worker you gone through a lot and you're divinely guided on whatever you're doing and this person is not all that they want to go after is to for them to accelerate and that's it like they they just think about the money they don't really think um what contribution they they can give to the world like they have a fake life to be honest they might be showing like um posting something that they care but to be honest they don't really care anyway they, they are the burden here so i think that they're cursing you they putting a burden in your life that's what they're doing they're trying to block people from you know making you the apple of their eyes so i feel like they make sure that you will i feel uh, you will have a downfall i can hardly express here so if ever this person is a liar or they're using their words in a bad way they're losing their their voice like if ever they communicate it doesn't go well that is a part of their karma and consequences of their actions so with this piece i feel like you're just at peace you're not gonna be bugged by whatever this person is doing towards you so anyway yeah they are eventually a copycat because they're seeing you accelerated on them so i think that what they want to do is actually take your throne so you will go away from whatever you're doing so anyway whomever this is i'm sensing that their life is not going well and that's the reason why they copied you they copied your work they copied your agenda because they think that if ever they copy you they will accelerate it's just repeats in a reading forgive but i really see here that you work so hard to achieve where you're at you know they they can't copy f you for you know whatever works that you're doing because they need to to go to the process where you've gone through right and this person has creative blocks as i told you and that's the reason why um they copy others that they see has they, they see has a potential of earning a lot so they thought that by copying look at that it's not really their it's not really their talent to be honest with you i feel like they they have their own talent but they're rejecting their themselves like by focusing too much on other people that accelerate than them they don't this is a person that don't love themselves they don't embrace themselves for who they are they're not authentic they're being dishonest and disloyal to, to the divine the angels say so i'm sensing here as well that instead of being loved they're being hated and this is a person that's also trying to seek for attention or outside love because they have um issues at home so you know they are kind of like energy vampires because they are out there just to drain people's energy because they like the attention etc but they don't really have good intentions why they are there and anyway look at that i feel like they like what they're doing because they're getting attention but yet um look at that the angels say if ever this is a liar once the truth came out no one will listen to them and some of them they might end up in jail if they keep on doing these things by you know giving fake news or whatever because i think that the reason why they copy you because you are loved by people around you and i think that you're earning money too but in a good way you know you're really helpful to others and you're not somebody who's putting a burden to another situation and that's why you're earning because you're, you're a natural light worker you've gone through a lot in your life and you will make a good counselor and a good influence for others I think that it's really meant for you guys 
to be there because I feel like by your energy, people will feel loved by you. Anyway, let's check what else we have here. So we got the blessed. So yeah, this is you. Like people see you in this way. And that's why a lot of people try to copy you too. Because I think that you are encouraging them to have a new life, to, to do this and that. But I feel like whomever this person was, they, they didn't follow whatever your teaching is, okay? They just thought that by, you know, going after things, they will be like that person, etc. But I feel like, to be honest with you, it will create their own downfall because they don't see themselves for who they are and they need to change. They need to learn how to love themselves. They need to learn how to love their own skin. And the next is here and now. So this person is, I feel like they will regret it in the future why they copied you because I'm sensing here as well that they are great, great a facade. They wear a mask that will hide the truth about them. And I'm sensing like they created a distort as well. And I feel like people will hate them for being dishonest, for not being true and authentic. And don't worry about this number two. They cannot take your throne because that is where you should be. And the doors is closed with regards to them. I feel like their intuition is closed, guys, because they're imbalanced. And they don't give off um, good energy, guys. They are energy vampires. They drain people whenever, you know, people watch their channel or watch them for whatever they're doing. And I'm sensing here as well that they're not being treated well in social media. They could be social climber too. They pretend to be what they are not. So I think that you have a gift of intuition, like you do have a lot of spiritual gifts and they don't have it. So what they did is this person lies. They could be somebody who fake readings if ever they do readings. And I think that they're really unhappy about it. They're realizing that they don't have a talent with regards to what work you're doing. And I feel like they just want to be like you are. They want to accelerate. They want to have fun. They, they want to copy you so they will be loved because they didn't fix their own life, okay? Um, they don't feel loved at their home. They, they really feel sad. They didn't see their blessings. I think that this is a person that really needs to focus on themselves, needs to focus on the blessings that they have rather than always looking at people's social media, being jealous about it and copy others. You know, and that's what they need to do because they forgot themselves. That's what's going on here. And I think that as soon as they realize that they can't copy you, they say they will eventually have to let go of the path that they try to be in because that's not really their path. And they need to realize that. They say that this is not their talent. This is not their skill. So anyway, this is the other theme. So we got this. So I think that, you know, people around them are actually double thinking if ever they will continuously watch this person or not. But I feel like one day, you know, people will go the distance or run away from them because they're just creating more confusion, more lies, to be honest. And I feel like they're good at um, being deceitful. They're good at lying. But eventually they say their lies will get the best of them, the angels say. Like, one day people will believe in them and then, you know, once they caught up with their lies, people will stop believing in them. And this is somebody who don't really love themselves for who they are. So that's why they copy others. That's, that's what they did. And I'm sensing here with this in either way. So I'm sensing here that it's 50-50 chance for this person to mature. Okay, to finally accept themselves for who they are and to finally, um, what they call this, accept their blessings too or focus on their blessings. Because there's someone who's creating chaos and conflict in their life. Anyway, this is your card temperance. So, and anyway, I can hardly explain express here so one of their karma obviously is that they will lose really their voice or their throat chakra is blocked to be honest 
And what the angels want you to do is focus on what you're doing and don't mind about this person because I feel like they have a tendency to intrigue you on what they're doing. I feel like they, they feel like they are in competition with you. So what they want you to do, number two, is eventually not to show this person that you're in competition with them. Just focus on you, on your work, and that's it. And don't mind this person. Anyway, these are your messages from your person. Should I clarify or read? Okay, they asked me to clarify. One more for what, angels? Okay, they want to give more. More cards. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards so we may know. What does a person of number two wants to tell them? Another. One more, they say. I feel they are somebody who puts evil lie on you and your works. Because you're jealous of whatever you have going on. So I think that whenever you post something, please cleanse whatever you're posting. Anyway, I'm going to clarify. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards. So we may know what's behind the cards presented here. This help us clarify so we may be able to understand. So the angels say they are real, um, not a light worker really. They're putting negative vibe out there. So expect that they will be hated because they put negativity um, instead of, you know, being just content of their blessings. I feel like they're against God. That's also what I get. They could be upset with God. And that's the reason why they praise evil entities. Or if ever they are religious, they just don't have time to be religious. I feel like they're secretly cursing you guys. That's also what I get. So you may get discriminated for your work. You could be very charismatic and they are not. They think that you're better than them, to be honest. And they post a lot of things in social media so they can be greater than you are. And that's a tactic that they're doing. That the more that they post, the more that they think that people may like them or love them. I made you feel jealous. So this person really thinks that he or she is in competition with you. So by this person, you know, bragging, brag posting, etc. You know, this person is making you feel jealous. So you may not see your worth. I feel like this is a jealous hater for some of you. So I ran out of money. So this is one of their karma. One of the lessons that they need to know is that if they want to make money, make sure that you're... You're doing your light work job or you're doing um, a good job, they say. And they shouldn't, um, the angels say they shouldn't humiliate others. They shouldn't do something bad, to be honest. And I feel like your person's not earning, okay? Really. Not really earning anything. This person has to work so hard to earn money. I, use, I only use you for money. So I think this is with regards to your work. Like they could have copied your work so you they can have money. So look at that. They're really copying you guys. I think that they're always watching your postings or whatever you created. And then they will copy whatever you do so that they can make money. So this is only a person that works for money. And they are not really somebody who's a giver. They could be a braggart, that's also what I get. No one loves me like the way that you do. So I think this is what the fans of this person thinks about you. Like I think that they 
they thought that your love is much more better than this person's love for others because i really feel here some people that watch their channel or see them are you know their energy is drained like they feel something odd and strange with your person and the next thing that we got i'm happier when i'm with you wow your friends are really telling you this guys and this person is really upset because instead of you know them being praised by their friends etc they have haters guys okay and i feel like you're a real light worker like you don't give off a negative vibe comparing to them you know they keep on giving negativity so do you think their viewers will be happy of course not they feel so drained whenever they watch the the videos or whatever this person is posting and you shouldn't have trusted me so i think that this is what they want to tell their fans especially if they are really liars okay because i'm sensing here as well that they could be trying to pretend like an emperor or empress but you know they are deceitful they are liars anyway i made you feel unwanted so this is what they're doing like they try their best that they can to make people avoid you and not love you and I feel like no matter what they do, you know, you're being loved by others. You could be very charismatic and they're really jealous of it. I thought you betrayed me. So they could be thinking like you're in competition with them. So that's the reason why the angels are saying that just focus on your work, right? So this is what your person is doing, thinking. Because this is how the um how the way this is how they acted towards you like they are betraying you they are comparing you to others they are doing copy cutting etc and you know the thief is afraid of other thieves <laughs> that's what i will say anyway the next is broken hearted so they're really sad that they're losing their subscribers and they're going back to you because you're the one whom is really the real light worker here like you're here because of love for others you're here because you're really meant to do your light work job and people are realizing that this person is not really honest not really authentic and trying the best that he or she can to be you know just like you are and then i made you look like a fool so for some of them you know um they could be making fun of you to be honest or joke about you and then could be creating fake news about you so that they will stand out than you are so i think this is their agenda like they will destroy people's reputation just to be on top like they are like snakes to be honest and the next card i got betrayed so this is one of their karma like their person could have betrayed them if ever they have a lover guys their lover doesn't love them and then you know choose someone else because i think that what your person is doing instead of focusing on their blessings the blessings are being taken away from them so if ever they have a lover that they need to focus on instead of focusing on to you and the competition you know that person will be taken away from them and my head suddenly hurt so i think they are really mad and upset with their life and they are really in a problematic situation and i see i feel depressed so they feel depressed because they thought that they will earn a lot of money by copying you because they think that by being a star they will have money but it doesn't work that way because if ever they want to be a light worker like you are guys they need to be a somebody who has a good heart somebody who has a good intention and not somebody who cares as someone who is just out there to, just to gain popularity and money so i think that if ever you know i think that if, if this is about the presidency if this person wins guys okay this person look at the projects here the projects of the our old president will will be just like this like it will be left like this person will not continue the projects of our president and anyway i'm all alone so i'm sensing here as well that people are liking you from afar and i think that they are really realizing that that 
the funds that they had is leaving them. So they feel alone in, in their channel or on what they're doing. The tables have turned. If before they are loved by others and now people are realizing that you are the true speaker here, you are the authentic light worker and they're not. Okay? Because you're the loving person here. And the next is, you're the only one who understands me. So no wonder why people are listening to you more because you understand what they gone through. I feel like you're somebody who really cares for others. You're not out of there because of your own agendas, because you want to be popular and rich. I don't see that here. All I can see is that this is your path. This is really meant for you. To be honest and yeah, they cannot replace that and my head suddenly hurt really a lot so i think that this person is always thinking on what to do what what to do to bring this person down etc and to accelerate that's all that they think of like i don't know this person is complicated and very toxic like they will do something nasty just to get your poten your potential just to get your position and to make others look at them and don't mind this person guys they just try to you know get to you anyways or anything else so that's it they say so anyway with regards to the other one that's running that's not a true person you shouldn't um trust that person because no matter how much um this person will brag about something they say this will be a person that will create a downfall for our country and you shouldn't trust that person that they keep on repeating that anyways or anything else that's it they say so anyway thank you for watching those who chose number two and send to you all peace love and light bye hi guys for those who chose number three which is, oh my gosh, I can't hold this. Which is a Six of Cups card. Here is your reading. So let's see what is the karma of your person number three for hurting you. I feel like this is more likely for betraying you. Now anyway, this is the overall theme of this reading. You got time for an up. Here's your way they tell. You also got soulmates. I also sense twin flame love. I don't know why. But we will see guys, okay? Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards so we may know what is the karma of the person of number three for hurting them. I do feel, guys, that your person criticizes you for who you are. I feel like your person thinks that you are feel like you're crying for them. <laughs> Speaking of, I think that you're highly in love with them, to be honest, and. They are happy about it, to be honest, but at the same time, they made fun of you in social media. That's also what I sense here. I feel like they're jealous of you now because you could be doing well at your work and they're not. I feel like they're authentic, but they're bloody honest, guys, okay? They say what they want to say and they post mean things in social media as well like they they post without thinking first that's what i feel like and they speak their mind to be honest and sometimes it's hurtful another i wonder why are you here what are you asking because i don't think they feel much of a hurt but they will see if they they did you a lot of dirty things okay mm -hmm. One more, they tell me. So I feel like your twin flame journey is over number three because your person criticizes you. I feel like this person brainwashed you too. Anyway, let's see what else. Angels and guides. Please provide guidance to the cards so we may know. What is the karma of the person of number three for hurting them? So this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading and what is the outcome. 
going to clarify the cards angels and guides please provide guidance to the cards so we may know what's behind the cards presented here please help us clarify so we may be able to understand thank you I feel evil twin that's what I feel like so you could be the good twin and this is the bad twin hmm and my head suddenly hurts so could be your person I've been thinking a lot about you these days okay they have anxiety issues nightmares and they don't know what to do and this is the overall energy so as you can see guys that you guys can't get along and this person feels like he or she is hiding something from you or always upset about you whenever this person sees you, like irritated vibe with this person. Um, that's what's going on. And the first card that we have is this one. So I feel like you are really felt drawn to this person. You're in love with this person. But look at this in either way. So I have a feeling that they do have feelings too, but they are ignoring how they feel. That's what's going on. And anyway, the next is look at this, okay? So I think that the divine is making this person realize that you are their person. Like they also felt drawn to you. But the problem here is that I think number four might resonate with you with twin flame reading, guys. It could resonate here because I think that your person don't want to accept you because of the reasoning that for this person, you haven't achieved anything yet. Like... For them, you're not good enough yet. And that's the reason why they didn't choose you. For some of them, with the Knight of Wands here, they could just be into, you know, um, passion, connection. And with the Queen of Cups in reverse, so I think that with their judgment, guys, they don't really base it on attitude. Like, even if you, you show their kindness, your love to this person, for them, it's not enough. Because what this person is looking for is someone that he or she is passionate about. And we have the once energy here. So... I'm sensing mostly, okay, this person ignored you because they they don't like that they felt drawn to you and they can't hardly believe um their eyes or their heart that they're in love with you because they're questioning why am i in love with this person this person don't have much money this person is like this and like that like they're focusing too much on the negativity and they don't believe um that they have feelings towards you and that really caused them to break your heart look at that okay um, they make your life complicated and i'm feeling here that yeah they took you for granted for some of you i feel like you've been through a lot with this person they could be brainwashing you that they love you and yet they criticize you you could feel drawn with um gossip readings it's because this person is gossiping badly about you to be honest and this person is also saying to his or her friends that you're not religious and you're very dramatic and you're not good at your work or your money all that they did is criticize you so in this angel of success honestly i think here that the karma that they will receive is that for humiliating you you will accelerate than them and i feel like i'm um, with the three of cups in reverse i'm sensing here as well that I feel like you're not somebody who's going out, like you're just busy on your on your own, on your work. So I feel like by you being busy at your work, like you don't have time to go out, that will make you accelerate. That will make you famous, I feel like. Could be you're busy working or you could be busy with your business. So anyway, look at this. This is the outcome. So since I criticize you, your work, whatever, they will have a downfall with regards to their money. Like they will be criticized too. The angels say once that they lose their job, once that they lose their money, people will leave them. And I think that with a temperance in either way, it just means that before their life is like this and you know since they hurt you their life will become chaotic like it won't be peaceful and i'm sensing here that this person is disruptive to be honest with you anyway let's see 
disruptive energy is what I feel like. Like they destroyed your name. That's also what I sense. Let's see with the stones what we have here. I feel like they bully in social media and their karma is big time so they could have friends on you and cause a tower moment towards you. That's what happened here. And the next is this one. So I feel like your connection is out of this world. So if you question, you know, this connection, if you question your person, if he or she feel the same way, yes, this person do felt drawn to you guys, but your person is not listening to his or her emotions. That's a problem there. And we got the book. So your person could be book smart, um, very logical too, and doesn't base um, his or her decision making in the heart space. This person focused too much in the logic mindset. No wonder why my head hurts. Because this person is a thinker. So we got this. Okay, so I'm sensing with the evil eye here. So I think this person tends to judge, tends to put negativity on you, like criticize or um, feel like this person has victim mentality too. And I think that they are not a good partner for you, honestly speaking, because imagine yourself being, um, being partnered to somebody who always blames. For you guys, if ever this will be your partner. So anyway, this is the next one. So we got this one. So you guys have a tower moment. And that this person didn't love you. Um, very negative energy here. So eventually the karma that they will receive is that they will be able to experience the same treatment once that they have this downfall with regards to money concerns. That's also what they get. So they are in a toxic energy. They keep you stuck for a long time. One of their karma is that they will see you going after your goals and your dreams. While their life is um, being criticized, they say. And they think that their life is dramatic. And look at this, my gosh. So I feel like they're the ones who's causing disruption in their life and their vibe is not really healthy and i feel like people will get annoyed with them because they are bullies and they are bad towards you and i'm sensing here as well that this person could have told bad things about you so you'll be left in the cold so anyway the angels told me that this person will be stuck in his or her ways is stuck with regards to career it's because the angels told me that this person is just busy manifesting a partner for passion purpose and that's it and i feel like this is a person that didn't admit his or her mistakes keeps on playing mind games on others refuse to grow up that's also what i get here so I think that while your person is having this kind of life, number three, you will be busy on, you know, beautifying your life, going after your goals and your dreams, and that will make you successful. So I think that while you're having this money, fame, whatever, your person is experiencing downfall and they could be good at hiding it. They don't post about it in social media because obviously reputation matters to them. That's what's going on here. And while well, you have new cards here. So I think that by you minding your business, I'm sensing here that that will make you accelerate. And I feel like your person will become lonely. Like they will become very depressed or be being worried over nothing. That's what I feel with this card. So I'm sensing here as well, guys, that they, there's a lot of things going on in their life. Like example, um, they, they have this downfall, right, with regards to their career. And I think that people will discriminate to them. They will also uh, feel how it feels like to be in a low position with regards to career. And they will realize that they, this is how they treated you. Anyway, look at you. You're going towards your goals and your dreams. Just repetitive, guys. So I feel like while you are accelerating, your person is experiencing disasters in their life. And they're so upset about the cycles being repetitive. As you can see here. And they, they encounter karmics. So I think this is a person that keeps on dating and dating. Um, 
that's what they're busy on. They're not focused on their career compared to you. Number three, you're just focused on what you're doing, right? On business. And this person is busy with love life. And look at that. And the reason why they're busy with their love life is because they don't accept you as their twin flame. Even though they, they receive signs from the divine, they block their they block their higher self or their intuitive gifts. They keep on pushing forward to any connections that they can think of while you're busy working. So I feel like you're single and this person is always dating around. Anyway, so this is the theme. So for the theme as you can see here. So the karma for your person. Yes, this person keeps on dating, right? But that is not someone that they will end it up with because they're undecisive. They don't know what they want, to be honest with you. So they won't be there won't be any final commitment here because their relationship is imbalanced and i think that the reason why their connections is not finalized because they didn't think about it they just um go after a girl or a guy that they see and then you know they assume that that person is already their boyfriend or girlfriend that's what they are they, they're not thinking and this is what they need to learn is um to have quality time with a person that they that they are eyeing. I feel like they need to know the person first. Like the getting to know each other is not there. Anyway, let's see. So we got the Six of Cups. So I'm sensing here as well that the karma that they will have is that they will lose money. Because they keep on giving and giving to the people that they like. And they're just busy with their love life. And they're not focusing on their work. Could be this is a person that doesn't save money, to be honest with you. So these are their messages for you, number three. Should I clarify? Um, okay, read it. They say, so you are one of a kind. So despite of them dating around, they can't find anyone like you. Everyone was against me. Could be because they broke your heart. And that's why your mutual friends are against them. And then I learned the lesson the hard way. So if ever I just feel like this um, negativity that your person is doing is actually, you know, not yet what they call this the karma itself. Because look at this, I learned the lesson the hard way. I feel like this is their uh, future self that's saying this to you. Okay, like they will just um, know. That they are on the wrong path when they are already old. Um, that's what I feel like. And then the next, I am a heartbreaker. So this person is obviously a heartbreaker because they don't know what they want. Right? So the karma that they will have eventually is that yeah, it, it will strike their career. That's what's going on. And their reputation too. That's what's going on here. And... At the same time, one of the things that is their karma is that they cannot find anyone like you. Of course, everyone is unique, right? So, anyway, I feel like they will be jealous at you in the end because we also have Eva Lai. I think that that is their future them. Because you're just busy focusing on your work, right? Of course, you will accelerate in the work department. And since they're dating around, they will not accelerate with regards to it. So that's why they will be jealous of you in the future, in the end. So anyway, is there anything else? And they have to see you successful, they say. Well, they are grieving because they don't, they don't know what to do with their life. They don't know who is the one for them. This is a complicated person. Like, they can't make up their mind in love department. They could be good at, you know, having a career. But, you know, they're wasting their money, their time in finding the one. They forgot to be stable first in terms of their career. Because they act without thinking, the angels say. Anyways, is there anything else? And that will put them to troubles, according to the angels, because they're not using their mind. Even though they are smart, the angels say, they're still doing nasty things. Out of the blue, they say. This is a, you know, somebody that's unpredictable. And you have to be careful with them, the angels say, because they don't know what they want. 
and they give you mixed signals according to the angel so the angels say let go and let god don't be someone who's going to wait for them just continuously focus on your work anyway is there anything else that's it they say so anyway i hope that this reading gives you an insight number three and send you all peace love and light bye hi guys for those who chose number four which is a three of wands card here is your reading so let's check what is the karma of your person number four for hurting you so this is the overall theme of this reading we got imagine as your way they tell we also have a change in the wind a leg up i feel like this person wanna be like you <clears throat> this person curse you a lot this person hides secrets from you that's also what i get i feel like this person has read as a vibe angels and guides please provide guidance with the cards so we may know what is the karma of the person of number four for hurting them <clears throat> i feel like for cursing suddenly my soul chakra hurt this person could have blocked your soul chakra they're sending evil eye on you that's also what i get um you could be in a twin flame journey and this person tries to disrupt the connection i feel like this person doesn't want you to be happy they keep on playing mind games on you playing games on you um they have jealousy issue i also feel like Pooh has survived doing this one and me too too Priyanka as well, the angels say. Another. So, whole package. I wonder if Sandeep too. Anyway, let's check what else we have. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards so we may know. What is the karma of the person of number four for hurting them? We could be charismatic. It could be somebody who has a lot going on in your life and this person hides the fact that they are jealous of you. They play pretend that they care about you but they don't really care about you. So this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. That kind of energy is like me to survive. Like they act like they care but they don't really care. Like they, they say that they, this person is toxic. Let's clarify, angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards. So we may know what's behind the cards presented here. Let's help us clarify so we may be able to understand. So better not stay close to this person, guys. This person has evil entity within. And that's why they act what they do. They act what they do. They act like that. For some of you, you could be a YouTuber, you could be a famous person, and this person is judgmental over what you're doing, doesn't like you at all, and suddenly my head hurts. So anyway, this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. So I feel like they have financial struggle in their life, and I feel like they do want to get away from this Empress in Reverse Energy, which is not feeling abundant um i really feel here that they didn't accelerate in terms of their career and that's what they want okay to get away from poverty so the next is this one so i think this is somebody that is a liar and careless too according to the angels and look at this okay the karma that they will have is that they will lose um, influence on people and i feel like they also will lose some money to be honest because i think that the divine wants them to focus on what they have rather than you know focusing on other people because i feel like the problem with this person is that they are judgmental um they tend to look at others rather than just mind their own business they're like disgusters angels say that all that they care about is you know other people's business 
And anyway, the next is this one. So I think that their karma had happened to them. And the karma that they had, obviously, is that they're being boxed up and they didn't see it coming because they're focused on other things. I feel like they thought their financial struggle would be over, but somebody will brainwash them and scam them. That's their karma. And the next thing that we have is this one. So I'm sensing here as well that they could be an influencer too, but in a bad way. They could be somebody that um, I feel like very prideful, to be honest with you. And I think that they will be busy on fighting, arguing. And I think that it is because... You know, these people are stopping them from where they at right now um, because I feel like they did something nasty. And that's why they have a lot of haters. So that's one of their karma. And their biggest lesson, their biggest mistake is getting someone, if ever. This is Reta, Me Too, and Sandeep too, the angels say. Um, Priyanka not included, they say. So I'm sensing here as well that they will miss um, you, their victim. Because I feel like you could be someone that's successful and I think that you're a loving person and you also have the money. And I think that you love this person like you care for them and that's the reason why you share your blessings to them because you're successful. But you know, because they betray you, they did this and that, now they can't have this with you. Like you're not even looking at them, at their postings even, you don't... You don't care now because I think that what they did to you is terrible. That's also what I get. So this is the outcome. So the karma that they will have is actually they will continuously lie, manipulate. They're attention seekers and they think that um, they're out there because there's somebody who wants, you know, to seek love outside rather than loving themselves or learning how to love others or treat others well. And yeah, they will miss your love. They will feel very nostalgic. Um, that's what's going on as well. Um, anyway, let's check what else we have here. I'm shoveling the stones. One more detail. So you could be an influencer and they're not. And they want to be like you are. That's why they did what they did. They have enemies. This is somebody who pretends to be your friend. But they are actually your enemies. Okay. So you have the key here. So you could be somebody who has a lot of opportunity. They could be jobless. That's also what I get. And you have the letter here. Or message. Let's see what else. So we got heart with a keyhole. So and we have a key here. So I'm just saying here, okay, that honestly the divine is pushing them to be a good person, but yet um they are not focusing on it. Okay, they are really focusing on your downfall. I think that this is somebody who ill wish on you or doesn't want you to accelerate. They're really heartless here. All that they care about is themselves. Look at that, how heartless they are. They're not paying attention to their emotions. And I think here, like the karma that they will receive is obviously that opportunities will be locked. To be honest with you. Because I think that you are the key here. Meaning, you can be the key towards your success. If only they treat you well, right? And I think that they will be very upset over what they've done to you because it will haunt them to be, for sure. And with these messages here, I'm sensing that they are getting their karma, like they're being always reminded of you, always, you know, if it's just somebody who brainwashes, manipulates, and that's the reason why people don't like them. People are upset at them. And they're jealous of you because people are loving you and they're not being loved by others because their heart is closed and their vibe is not really healthy. So here is your other card. So I think this person tries to copy you. This could be your colleague for some of you. And I think that the universe has your back. And I think this is somebody who, who can't make it um, up there or on the pedestal. I think here that it's because the angels say they did something nasty to get there. 
To be honest, and I feel like the universe doesn't have their back, especially if they use manipulation, like you know what Shreta did and Mito did and Sandeep did, right? To get uh, money to get somewhere, they have to sacrifice someone. So <laughs> it became reverse. I think that their person tried to be happy. That's what's going on to them. They could be posting social media that they're happy, but yet the karma that they will receive, they will cry over what they've done. And I think that another karma that they will receive is people will judge them for what they did to, they say, Sushant or other people. Um, anyway, I'm sensing here as well that the angels say that they will live to please others. That's also their karma. And I'm sensing that they have this jealousy issue, really judgmental, and they didn't change. And this is a person that will love someone because of money. They are very greedy. So the karma that they will have is that their manipulation is over. Like people will be able to get out their victims and be able to get out of their mind games, illusion games. And people will realize that they are more um, at peace without this person. And I feel like people will leave them, to be honest, because their vibe is not really healthy. And I have a feeling here that this is somebody who plays mind games on you. So you'll be afraid to express yourself. You'll be afraid to be who you are. And I feel like this is also a person that um, I feel like curse. And at the same time, they use their words in a bad way to manipulate others. And so the karma that they will receive eventually is that they will be here. They won't go to the pedestal because the angels say they use black magic or any certain stuff that are negative in order to get up. And that's a, not a good way to go here, right? So I feel like one of their karma is that they're losing their voice. Like their soul chakra is being, what they call this, is broken. Like if ever they express themselves, it will not go their way. Like the, the divine is giving people that's listening to them clues that the person that you're asking of is someone that is a liar, not authentic at all. So one of their karma is actually that, you know, they will be jealous of you because you will continuously have the gift. And I think that you are a go-getter. You you reach um, this gift, you reach the top because you work hard for it. And I feel like you're divinely guided. And they don't feel like that because I feel this is somebody that is not content on what they had. Yes, they had blessings, but they tend to actually look at other people's blessings rather than just focus on themselves and what they have going on and this is a person that yeah just use their words i feel like yeah they there's some values codependent dependent over spells that's also what i get here or the way that they speak as well because i feel like they keep on look at your social media keep on cursing you whatever you have going on and the next thing that we have is this one. So I think that this person thinks that they can't live without spell work. They think that they can do anything with with regards to, you know, being um, whatever they want. And even though it's not meant for them. Because I feel like wherever they are right now, it's not really meant. They don't have the talent for it. They could be someone who has a talent, yes. But that they prefer to copy people rather than be themselves. That's what they are. And anyway, let's check. Yeah, very jealous type and copycat vibe too. Uh, so this is the next card that we have. So this is the theme. So for the theme, I feel here that on some point, you know, you have been like a teacher to them. Like you inspire them to be a good person. You inspire them to go after their goals and their dreams. And you used to support them. But yet things have shifted. I think that um, the tower moment here is that they harm you. They hurt you. And that's a reason why you let go of them. But in the case of Shreta and so forth, you know what happened. And that's the reason why. What happened to their life? Well... Who will support them if they had a money issues right now, right? Anyway, this is an either way. So as you can see here, this is a person that didn't think first before acting. 
Like they keep on imagining that your life is better than them. Um, I feel like the way that this person think is always like a narcissistic vibe. Like they want to go to the top, but you know they they need to lie a lot. In this image, like they trying to portray something that they're not. So if they want to be known as a good person, to be honest, they need to be a good person, really. And not just, you know, what they call this, <laughs> not just lying, right? Because we have imagined here. So it just means that this is a person that creates illusion, that creates a reputation that doesn't um, resonates with them. So I feel like the karma that they will have is that, you know, this image card will be in reverse one day. Like people will get out of their manipulation of their lies. And anyway, with the three of ones here, so this is somebody who watch you from afar. This is somebody that compares themselves to yours and does all that they did. They are like gossipers, you know, instead of minding their own business, they mind other people's business and they copy people's attitude. So number three might resonate with you guys, especially if this person curse you. But in your case situation, I feel like this is somebody that really, you know, um, liar manipulation by lies <coughs> and you'll do nasty things so that you won't get to the top so if ever they curse number three might resonate so anyway this is um their messages for you number four should i clarify so they asked me to read i cheated so they they could have been a cheater so that they may reach that top that's what they are and suddenly there's dogs barking so this person could be argumentative too. So they could have fight you a lot. I was confused whom to trust. So one of their karma is that they don't have good friends. Because they also attract people that they can trust. Since that is their vibe, right? They always lie. They manipulate. They are frenemy. They pretend to be your friend. But they're not really your friends. So that is one of their karma. Like they will also attract people whose vibe is like them. And then the next is I felt sick. So one of their karma is feeling sick or getting sick. And I shouldn't make fun of you. So it could be some of them. They could be gossiping about you. And they could be laughing about you. Discriminating you. I feel this person really tried to, you know, belittle you. But I don't feel like it, it really affects you guys. I feel like you're somebody who's stable. You know yourself. And that's the reason why your person can't actually... Um, bully you like that i feel weak so yeah most of them got sick i'm not a good friend see this and that's the reason why they attract people that are also not a good friend so that's what's going on with them number four so anyways or anything else so the angels told me that they're being punished for being a cheater okay they cheated to go to the top they say to me, if ever they curse you, their curses will come back to them. One day, the angels say, they realize that all the things that um, that has been happening to them was their own causing because all that they did is cheat or do nasty things to go wherever they are right now. This is a person that... The angels say very codependent cool, over spell. Some of them codependent cool, over a lover to have money. Because they can't build their own money. That's also what I get. They're not financially stable even though they have a job. Could be because of the lifestyle that they had. So basically, um, they will have money issues. Okay, that's one of their karma. And yeah, they're not seeing the blessings. So what's going on with them? I think that the blessings will be taken away from them. Because all that they do is focus on you. Focus on other people. Be jealous of others, etc. So anyways, or anything else? That's it, they say. So anyway, I hope that this reading gives you some clarity. Number four. And sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye.